Preston Physics Grade 11 Energy Note 6 Conservation of Energy with Energy Loss When we're dealing with the conservation of energy, we know that the energy in has to equal the energy out. But sometimes this isn't the case because we lose energy. Normally when we're losing energy, we're losing it to work. So if we have energy lost in a problem, we need to account for it using a formula. The way we do that is we have the original energy minus the work equals the final energy of the system. Now there's three kind of situations we have to look at for this. One, energy is lost because of work. Two, if no energy is lost, what that means is that work is equal to zero. So then we can use our normal conservation of energy equation where we have E equals E prime. Finally, when we're looking at this, energy is usually lost due to a force such as friction. So when we're looking at that, we have our equation for our conservation of energy, but instead of just having work there, we can put in work is equal to the force times the displacement in what we're looking at. Looking at the two examples at the bottom of the page, first we have the block moving down the ramp. Now we're going to make our HMV charts for the block. The initial height is 6.2 meters. The mass in both cases is 2.4 kilograms. And the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. We know the final height is going to be 0 meters. So when we create our energy equation, we know initially we're not going to have any kinetic energy. And final, we're not going to have any gravitational potential. But we also have work that we need to account for in this equation. So we use energy minus work equals E prime. We have mgh at the start and 1 half mv squared at the end. We sub in all of our values and simplify the equation. We end up getting V is equal to the square root of 78.2. And then V is equal to 8.84 meters per second. Now with this second example, we're going to set it up for you and let you solve it. So we have our chalk brush moving on a sidewalk and it's moving 1.3 meters with a mu value of 0.5. We set up our HMV chart, so we're going to have height, mass, and velocity for both initial and final. We set up our equation where we have energy minus work equals energy prime. Both of these sides, we have no gravitational potential energy so it's only kinetic energy and work. Now in this case work is equal to the force of friction times the displacement so we also then can change the force of friction to mu fn and you can kind of notice in this equation that we have our fn is equal to fg so we know that our force of friction is equal to mu mg. We'll finish that example in class. The questions associated with this note are 22 to 28 in your yellow duotangs.